Hi, hello. Um, another quick video for you. So, you're probably sick of hearing. I had some renovations done at home. I moved all my embroidery upstairs for safekeeping. As I've been bringing it back down again and putting it back where it should be, I've been finding little things that maybe need finished or maybe need to be found at home. So, this is another one of those situations. Um, so, what I found was this little page of stitch paper. So these are artist's tissue papers, uh, Japanese tissue papers that I stitch and then I work on them. And these are some little books that I made. Now you probably, well, it's been a while since they were on my blog, but I made these little books with the papers. Um, I always try and have a stash of stitched tissues. Um, the Japanese tissues, they're not like the tissue paper you would buy to say scrunch up and put in a gift bag. They're a little bit more substantial than that, but still very, very fragile. They respond to stitch beautifully. This is another one. Okay. Um, so you get the gist. You get the gist. So then I found this little page that wasn't finished. Um, we went blurry there, didn't we? I don't know why. So what was happening on here when I was putting things away, it was literally... Well, it didn't have this and it didn't have this. So I've added that and that. Um, and I want to do more to that so I've wrapped some little thread spools um, to put one of them on here and I'm thinking I might put that one on so how I attach that is more stitch paper uh, stitch tissue because it's quite tricky to stitch these down to be fair now you need this is stitched okay and if it you just tear it but if it doesn't come away Use your paper scissors to cut it because there'll be paper fragments in here in this stitching. So you don't want to be using your good embroidery scissors. Okay. Um, so what I tend to do with these, try to do with these anyway, is put this around the middle. It's too big. Take a bit more off. Too wide, if that makes sense. Don't want it to hide the thread just want it to be used as an anchor so I'll put that in the middle okay I've got some cotton abroader here threaded on the needle and stitch this round the tube to secure the tube it's almost like in a little pocket in a little sleeve So that's that and then place that where I want it to be on here so let's say there and then stitch it down to what's underneath it'll wrap around it always does without fail fiddly fiddly I never said it wouldn't be fiddly okay so that's one stitch and come up again I want it to be straight obviously okay um, so I'll go down again and I think that should uh, suffice so there so not only have I got a little tube of thread study colour colour study thread whatever there I've also got more texture on there so I just go to the back and fasten it off, okay? And then this can be added, this page can be added to one of these little books um, when it's finished. And I'll explain to you how I'll do that in a second. Just fasten that off. Okay. So this bit here, oh see it's moving, never mind. No, there, stay, stay. So this bit here, I literally just run and stitch that on. It's like a little tab hanging out the bottom. It's just adding texture and interest and yeah, just interest and little snippets of things to these books, to these pages, purely for aesthetic reasons. Um, but I did start a piece, like almost like a paper wrapping cloth using this process. You've seen it before, it's on a video on here somewhere, this one. So, 
everything's inspired by everything else around here. Um, so this one, literally just run in, stitch it on. Sorry about the jungle. Like that. And I feel as if I want to put something dangly on here as well, but I can't figure out what. Um, I mean, the sequins on this page, I could maybe dangle some sequins or some beads. But I'll take that under consideration. I won't consider this page finished yet. I'll consider it a work in progress. Because I do know that I want to add something else, but I'm not quite sure what. Um, and I'm thinking dangly from here. Um, so anyway, there's no rush. I'm not in any rush. So that's that secured now, the little lower tab at the lower edge. It's just playing, for playing's sake. And I think that's the best part of all of this, isn't it? Because you get ideas when you're doing things like that. So I'll fasten that off. Fasten that off. Okay. So how will we attach it? Probably the size of it is going to be too big for that one, but it will fit in this one. So I will literally just put it at the back like that and tie it into the rest of the book, little tie, and that's it. It would be there as an extra page there. Um, so I definitely think I want, I mean, here, there's white space here and here. So I need to think about that before I move it forward. Okay. 